Monkeypox is a viral infection and the reservoir is in small mammals, usually rodents, in West African and Central African forest. And so people get infected if they come into contact in some way with those animals. It can then spread from person to person, but it's not very efficient uh, at, at transmitting. It usually starts with fever and headache. People feel pretty miserable and tired. They can get swollen glands. And then this typical rash develops, which is sort of pustular in form. And that's usually what's infectious. And this is infectious until the, the scabs actually fall off. Monkeypox is closely related to smallpox, which was eradicated uh, several decades ago. And it's clear that the smallpox vaccine does give some cross protection against monkeypox. And one of the reasons that we think that there has been this increase in cases of monkeypox in Africa is that routine smallpox vaccination was stopped once the disease was eradicated. Most people will recover and recover fully within a few weeks, but people can have serious disease and may need to be hospitalized with it. Now that um, things are opening up again and people are starting to travel, then there's an opportunity for um, infectious diseases to be disseminated in different parts of the world. There's no need to panic here. This is not going to spread and get into the general population and cause an epidemic like coronavirus has. But even so, this is a, a pretty large cluster over what appears to be quite a large area. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.